everyone, this is Angie Hong from the Washington Conservation District and I am on a hike this morning out at Sunfish Lake Park in Lake Elmo. It is one of our hidden gems and we are finding tons of woodland wildflowers blooming at this time of year. So I'll give you a little panel. This park has beautiful hardwood forest. It has a couple of miles worth of trails, nice hills. It's really good for dog walking, hiking, trail running. I was able to find a number of different beautiful little flowers. We've got some Rue Anemone. That's this really pretty little pink one. And it is a native wildflower, which is blooming right now at this time of year. There are also a couple of different kinds of the violets that are blooming. And these are ones that you're probably seeing all over the place in your yards and sometimes in some of the public spaces. Across the way, I had even found a pretty little yellow violet. These ones are a lot less common, so it's not as easy to find them. And then there's one other thing that I wanted to show you. It's this plant which is called a garlic mustard. It's a non-native invasive. It's tall and lanky and it's got a white flower at the top. If you see it on your property, go ahead and pull it. And the fun thing is that it is actually edible. So you can pick these leaves. You can eat them. You can turn them into pesto and they would actually taste really great on a spaghetti noodle and that's a lot better place for them than growing in your woods. Why, hello. Look at these little beauties that I just found in the woods. If you don't recognize them, these are called Jack in the Pulpits and they have these amazing flowers on them that are all curled up, looks like a little tube. These are a really fun woodland plant that you find growing in damp soils. Uh -huh. First of the season, Wild geranium is blooming now. I've seen lots of leaves. This is the first one I've seen in flower yet. I'm back again. I walked just a little ways down the trail and I had found a couple of more wildflowers that I wanted to share with you. One of them I had showed you previously was the Rue Anemone. This is a related woodland wildflower. It is a um, called a wood anemone. And there's another little white flower that's behind that one. It's got these three leaves, the tiny little flowers. This one is actually a wild strawberry. So if you come down this trail in a couple of weeks, you might find tiny little red strawberries growing on the plant that you could pick and eat. I do wanna let folks know that the Washington Conservation District offers free site visits for anybody who lives in Washington County. And if you go to our website, www.mnwcd.org, you can sign up for one of those site visits and we have extremely knowledgeable staff who can talk to you about native plants, restoring habitat, planting rain gardens, planting pollinator friendly gardens, all sorts of good things like that. 